workshop. Today we're going to do a, a straight 3D cutting job on this E12 hybrid machine. Uh, we're going to cut into pine and it's going to be a group of six horses all galloping in a row. Um, and we're going to cut this uh, piece of work using two different types of cutters and that's a 12 millimeter three flute and a tapered two flute ball mill and the ball mill at the end is two millimeter. I, pre, on previous videos I've um, explained how to set up the zero point and indeed how to construct one of these 3D pictures in AppCam. Um, so if you go to my YouTube channel and uh, if you highlight or click on videos, uh, all my videos will come up. If you look through those, I think it's pretty obvious sort of which ones are uh, constructing uh, 3D with uh, AppCam and uh, I think you'll get the, the hang of things. So. Uh, I've already preset the zero point of this uh, piece of work up, uh, and that again, if it, the, the preceding video to this, I go into great detail of about the machine home position, which is the posi position it is in at the moment, and how to set the uh, work offset up or the G54. Um, so you're probably better off going to see the preceding video to this one for all that information and indeed a little bit of at cam as well. So um, we'll get on. what I wanted to show you. This machine equipped with servo drive can do a roughing cut and now bear in mind this is uh, a cut of 16 millimeters in depth. That's um, what five eighths or something like that of an inch and the big thing to note here is the distinct lack of burning. It has discolored the, the, the wood in places, as you would expect. Um, now, had this have been my other older machine, uh, I would have had to cut this in probably four to five passes, complete cuts. This has done it. This has cut this roughing cut in one cut. One cut. Having servo, mo having servo motor drives and having a rigidly mounted spindle, you can plunge the tool into nearly three quarters an inch of material and pull it through and it will cut it. My other machine which is over here, not exactly retired, but um, this machine has the x-axis running on these bars and this actually, th this head 
actually flexes so you're limited to the amount of um, tool depth that you can put into material and pull through before the, 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 the head starts vibrating and flexing away from the cut. That's one of the big differences. These machines just, you know, I mean, I have been able to get this machine to work fairly well, but nowhere near a machine has to be to be a professional machine to do a manufacturing process. This is. So this has done it in one cut and it's taken 47 minutes to do it. don't know whether you can see that with all the lights here. Uh, is that better? 47 minutes. That's the run time to complete this roughing cut. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this tapered tool in. I think with a white background you can see you can see better that it is tapered and it's a, a two flute. Um, so we're going to put this one in now and in one cut we're going to finish this entire um, 3D cut process. Now, this is my workshop, and you might be able to hear a little bit of wind, maybe a bird somewhere, but the new machine is actually running, it's cutting, it's, it's doing a 3D cut now with that um, tapered new tool, and it's very quiet. Of course, I've turned the uh, dust extraction system off, coming in through the door and all right the dust extraction system is turned off and he may just be able to detect that the machine is actually running it's very quiet and just to prove that it is actually running So that is how much this new machine has been improved.
Um, I'd just like to point out to you now the level of finish of this cutter and this machine will actually put out. There's uh, very little finishing to be done. Um, I mean, this is straight off the machine. Now you can see all the muscle tone, uh, the mane, ears, the eyes, the mouth and nostrils. This is very, very high quality and uh, high detail. Straight off the machine. Uh, so this machine combined with the tooling, um, well, I can honestly say that uh, there is no better machine for the price. It is perfect. And of course, a finished piece of item uh, like this and an expensive piece of wood, I mean, this is just uh, sort of man-made um, planking, um, pine, but if this was made in myrtle or teak or something, some expensive piece of wood, you're looking at something of um, between 250 and 300 dollars when it's finished. This machine will turn out possibly two of these finished pieces per day.